So this is our commercial photobioreactor. We have uh, algae growing uh, in the tubes here. The algae, along with its uh, culture medium, which is basically water and certain nutrients, is actually continuously being circulated through these tubes and sent back to this feeder tank here. Once we have our culture built up to a certain level here, then we can take that uh, culture and inoculate our large photobioreactor with it. Again, we have a feeder tank here. We'll actually be seeding this with algae from the reactor I just showed you within a few days from now. So then this whole system will be green. Something else you'll uh, notice here is that we have gas bubbling through these tubes. And that's because, of course, we have to introduce CO2 into our culture medium, which the algae use as their source of carbon. Is there a way to uh, take the uh, CO2 in the fermentation process of ethanol and deliver it into this biodiesel process? In fact, that's a, a much easier application um, for algae in terms of CO2 capture than, say, the CO2 contained in the flue gas from the coal-fired power plants. Yeah. The reason being uh, that in a coal-fired power plant, as well as CO2 being emitted, you also have SOx, sulfur oxides, and nitrogen oxides, NOx. And you also have particulate matter. You also have to deal with the fact that only about 12 to 14 percent of your flue gas is actually CO2. So you're having to deal with a very large volume of gas which only has a certain amount of CO2 in it, whereas the gas coming from an ethanol plant is 100% CO2, 100%. it's very clean, there's no particular matter in it, no sulfur oxides, nothing which might um, interact with the algae in a negative way and potentially kill them. So every ethanol plant should have an algae diesel, biodiesel plant next door? That may happen one day, who knows. Alright, that's incredible. Right, this one is probably uh, Chlorella vulgaris or Scenodesmus. Those are the, the two main strains of algae that we work with. So essentially what we're doing in using the algae to produce biofuels is we're recycling CO2. We're capturing the CO2 from a point source such as uh, a coal-fired power plant. We convert it into biomass and then we're uh, using that biomass as a fuel and releasing the CO2 again. So essentially we're recycling the CO2. Each of the individual steps for growing algae and converting algae into fuel are, are reasonably well known, but we need to improve the efficiency of those steps considerably in order to make the process economically viable. The trick is going to be getting the price down so that it's uh, certainly cost competitive with biodiesel produced from say soybean oils or canola oil, um, and preferably um, cost competitive ultimately with petroleum based diesel.